If you are about to take a math practice test, then this video is for you. Strategy number one, show your work. People think that the best test takers can do it all in their head. And this is just false. High scores show lots of work. This is because showing work increases both speed and accuracy. You are more likely to get a question right and quickly if you write it out. When you show your work, you can visually proofread it and catch the mistakes as you make them. And even more than that, it's less of a mental strain because you aren't trying to hold lots of details in your head. It's also difficult to do calculations in your head, but much faster and more accurate on paper. Spend the short time it takes to write out. Strategy number two, if you find yourself with extra time, find two ways to solve and check your answer. If you can think of two or three ways of getting the right answer, then you're probably going to get it right. Often this can be solving it and then checking the answer in the original question. Strategy number three, underline the given knowns and circle the one unknown, the one thing you need to find in order to answer the question. This takes no additional time and it helps you stay organized. Specifically, it helps you to never miss needed information while keeping you focused on what it is you're trying to find. Strategy number four, read labels and headers. All of these highlighted words are incredibly important to read. Reading this information forms in your head a picture of the question that has more detail and depth. And there are plenty of trap answers for people who don't read this stuff. Strategy number five, label things with units. In a word problem, if you know you have three of something, then you can get stuck. But if you know you have three cats or are traveling at three miles per hour, you are more likely to get the question right. Focus on units. The difference between half and half an hour could mean the difference between getting a question right and falling into a trap answer. Label things with units. You might call this overboard, but here, I even label the different terms of an equation with units. The height h is measured in meters, so overall the other two terms have to be measured in units too. Label things with units. Strategy number six, pacing. Make sure you don't spend too much time on any problem. And also, contrary to the popular belief, the questions in a math section don't always get sequentially harder. At the end of a section, yes, you will find harder questions, but you will also find not so hard questions. Your job is obviously to get as many of them correct as you can. But you can't get the not so hard questions correct if you don't find them in the back and read them. So try every problem. That's it. Go for it. Use these strategies and time yourself taking the math test. Finish every question and record these two things. Number one, the question number you were on when the official time ended. And also number two, the total time it took you to finish every question. When you finish all that, move on to the grading.